Let's talk about Optimus 3, which seems to be the design that finally gets it right. At this point, there appear to be no major flaws with this version. That said, Tesla still plans to make several adjustments and improvements. We are expecting to see more prototypes of Optimus 3 before the year ends, with large-scale production kicking off next year. Elon Musk made it clear that Tesla aims to scale Optimus production as quickly as humanly possible, aiming to hit a pace of 1 million units per year. Back in March of the year 2025, during a confidential company meeting, Elon Musk shared very ambitious plans. Tesla hoped to produce thousands of Optimus robots this year. The next target? 50,000 units in the year 2026, followed by an unbelievable 500,000 robots by 2027. But then came June, and news emerged that production was on pause due to technical problems. Current builds were still being assembled by hand, making it tough to expand production. Then came a twist in late July. Tesla revealed that a large batch of Optimus robots had been built, not for customers, but for Tesla's own use. These new robots feature a completely new design that no one outside the company has seen yet. Even more surprising, production has now reached a pace of 1,000 units per month. Each unit of Optimus version 3 is expected to manage up to 3,000 helpful tasks, with an initial price tag of States dollars So what will the Tesla bot Gen 3 look like? And what exactly are these 3,000 useful actions it can do? During the recent second quarter earnings call, Elon Musk announced major updates regarding Optimus version 3. The most notable change. A complete redesign when compared to the current version 2.5. Now, even though design may not be the most important part of a humanoid robot, let's be honest, looks do matter. Nobody wants to bring home a robot that looks like something from a horror film. But appearance is only one part of the story. Musk confirmed that version 3 will have many more degrees of freedom than earlier models. For those who know even a bit about robotics, this is huge. It means that the robot will move and act much more like a real human. Tesla has already started building Optimus units for use inside its own buildings. But when the time comes to sell the robot to the public, it might look very different. Musk hinted at this during the latest earnings meeting. When Tesla first introduced the Optimus robot at the Artificial Intelligence Day in 2021, all they had was a lifeless model and someone in a robot costume doing an awkward dance. But with time, Tesla showed more advanced versions, like Gen 2 and 2.5, which are now being tested inside Tesla's factories. In the first quarter of 2025, Elon Musk spoke during a company-wide meeting and said Tesla hoped to build the first real fleet of Optimus robots before this year ends. He mentioned a goal of about 5,000 units, with parts available for up to 12,000. But he also admitted that since this is a totally new product, success would mean reaching even half that target. At that point, many people assumed Tesla would simply continue producing the version 2.5 robot with some upgrades, like better hands that had 22 degrees of freedom. And that idea made sense. After all, Version 2 already moved smoothly and looked far more polished than many competing robots. But during the second quarter earnings call, Elon Musk made a very clear statement. When Optimus reaches full production, it will be based on the version 3 design. That means the first robots sold to customers will not look like the Gen 2.5 bots that Tesla has used internally. They will be totally different. Musk said he believes the Optimus 3 design is finally the right one. He added that while there will be more tweaks, there are no major changes needed anymore. He described the design as elegant and said every component has been engineered based on physics principles. Leaks suggest that Optimus 3 will have a screen on its face to show its status or other data the user may want to see. Think of it like a mini computer screen. The robot will also support voice control through Grok, a voice system Musk previously confirmed. To make it faster, Tesla wants to reduce the overall weight of the robot. It still cannot walk at the target speed of 5 miles per hour. No one knows exactly how Tesla will fix that, but lighter materials or improved joints may help. If these changes come true, the new design could be shown publicly later this year. 
The best guess is that it will be revealed during Tesla's shareholder meeting in November 2025. Musk even teased the idea that some Optimus robots may appear on stage at that event. Currently, Optimus version 2.5 can perform about 1,500 basic tasks. But version 3 could double that. Why? Because more degrees of freedom allow it to do more things with higher accuracy. For instance, version 2.5 can hold an egg without breaking it. Version 3. It could crack the egg, cook it, and serve you breakfast. That is the power of more precise movement. Hitting 3,000 useful tasks sounds very possible. But Musk also admitted that building version 3 is incredibly difficult. Nothing inside it comes off the shelf. Tesla had to create everything, from motors to gears to sensors, from scratch. They even had to train Optimus to use its arms and sensors using neural networks. Musk compared the robot to Tesla's cars, calling both of them robots in different forms. Tesla is using the same artificial intelligence training used in its self-driving software to train Optimus. On the hardware side, Tesla recently confirmed a $16.5 billion United States dollar agreement with Samsung Electronics. This deal is for creating a new generation of custom artificial intelligence chips, called AI6. These chips will power both Tesla cars and Optimus robots. The chips will be made at Samsung's brand new plant in Taylor, Texas. This contract will last until the end of the year 2033. These AI6 chips are key to making version 3 robots work well in the real world. Tesla is planning to build at least 5,000 robots in 2025 using these new chips. Musk once claimed that this robot will be able to play the piano. Think about that. A machine playing a musical instrument designed for human hands. Musk also said the robot may remind people of C-3PO from Star Wars. He even mentioned that Tesla might build the robot for only US$10,000. And as early as next year, thousands of these robots could be working inside Tesla's own buildings. At first, most customers may not be able to buy an Optimus robot outright. Musk confirmed Tesla will offer it through leasing at first. This way, more people can access the technology, and Tesla can keep improving it. Later, around 2028 or 2030, the robot could sell directly to buyers for around $20,000. That still makes it far cheaper than any other robot of its kind. If this happens, Tesla could earn hundreds of billions in profits every year just from selling Optimus. Production is growing fast, and as costs go down, the robot may even become easier to make than electric cars. Inside Tesla's own factories, Optimus is already doing tasks like sorting battery cells and fixing errors on the line. Musk believes there could be over 1,000 robots working at Tesla by next year. We are not saying humans should be replaced, but let's face reality. Robots work all day and night without needing sleep. And when they do need to recharge, it takes just 5 minutes thanks to a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery pack. Each robot could save Tesla hundreds of thousands of dollars a year compared to a person doing the same job. No breaks, no mistakes, and no rules about working hours. Like it or not, robots are here to stay. But Tesla's Optimus is not just another robot. While other companies show off flashy demos, Tesla is quietly making a machine that might change everything. Optimus version 3 is no clunky machine. It can lift a glass without spilling it. It can unscrew a jar lid or even build small devices. One big improvement over older models is an extra joint in the hands, giving it better grip. If Tesla really does mass-produce Optimus for $10,000, should government step in to decide how these robots are used? Or should the market decide? Let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching Amp Drive. If you want more news about Tesla bots, electric vehicles, and the future of tech, like this video, share it with your friends, and remember to subscribe to Amp Drive so you never miss what's next. See you in the next one.